I'm Jordan Carlos, and it's time for Can We Talk About This? Sandy! Teddy? Grease is a classic star-crossed lover's tale with some classic misogyny and toxic ideas about gender roles that you can dance to. You're the one that I want. Here to pick apart the sour nuts of the retro musical is the one and only Mr. Showbiz, Murray Hill, Mr. Showbiz himself. Murray, Thank you. thanks for joining us. There were some questionable lyrics throughout the musical. Can you think of any highlights? Because I know I sure can. Let me sum it up for you. Systematic, hydromatic, problematic. <laughs> the lyrics, you know, especially uh, Summer Love at the beginning of the movie. Tell me more, tell me more. Did she put up a fire? That's not good. Understand. And you know, there's so many different things they, they could have said. And I, I, I wrote some ideas to <laughs> Was it love at first sight? Why is this movie so white? <laughs> Was it love at first sight? And yes, his pants were too tight. <laughs> the lyrics, the, the one-liners that are sprinkled throughout the show, they're dated, they're offensive, yeah. they're misogynist and sexist, but because it's part of a big song and dance number, it's kind of hidden in this American dream imagery. Is toxic masculinity more palatable when it's set to music? Toxic masculinity is best seen and heard in a silent film. Mm. I'm gonna be straight with you, Jordan, not, not that straight. It, when I saw it, you know, as a youngster, which was, you know, about 30 years ago. And I saw this guy, John Travolta, is ridiculous. It makes no sense. He's not a tough guy. So my first thing was, I want to dress up like this guy and make fun of him. But I got a crush on Sandy, too. So I kind of had both experiences, if you know what I'm saying. Don't make me laugh. Ha, ha, ha. When you're watching this film, you get two images. You've got Rizzo, who's mocked for being promiscuous. And then you've got Sandy, who's mocked for being virginal. What does that tell a young viewer who identifies as a, uh, as a woman. The message is, it sucks to be you. They disrespect you either way. Right. The other message is, your worth is only based on what a guy thinks of you. I think this catch-22 of being a prude verse, being promiscuous, comes to a total head at the drive-in. Sandy! Sandy! Oh, Sandy. Let's talk about fragile masculinity. He gets stood up and rejected for being a jerk. He doesn't care that he hurt her feelings, violated her, didn't have consent. He's just worried about what his guys are gonna think. When people bring up its problematic nature, other people get upset yes. that you're even bringing it up. You can't erase the past, um, but it's available to us to look at and to learn from. It's there, you can't pretend it didn't happen. I mean, I already did that with my childhood and now I'm wearing men's suits for a living. <laughs> Anything that has had that much impact and is still being replayed, still being acted in theaters all across the world, should be looked at. So I don't think anything should be, in my opinion, you know, canceled. Let's look at why something that treated women so bad was like one of the biggest musical hits ever. As problematic as it is, if this is on TV, I'm watching. That's what you call showbiz. <laughs> They're saying the worst of shit, but then you're like, woohoo! I mean, I get sucked in at the big dance party and, you know, I'm dancing along. Yes, we're all dancing along. Jordan's like, all right, kid, go watch this movie. But if you treat your girlfriend like that, I'm going to kick the shit out of you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you have to change. Well, I know that's why I'm here, you know, to change. Murray, thank you once again for joining us. Great points and even better hair. <laughs> Showbiz. This has been Can We Talk About This? I'm Jordan Carlos. Enjoy the movie.